For part B, we want to know the steady state current along the transmission line. One thing we could do to calculate that is to calculate I1 plus and I1 minus and I2 plus and keep going and going and going and we have an infinite series. Uh, but as you noticed in the notes, we came up with an expression that saves us a lot of time. That if we add up that infinite series, we get a voltage divider. So the steady state voltage, we'll start with the voltage because then we can calculate the current from the voltage. The steady state voltage on the transmission line after all the reflections have happened is VG and then it's the load. Uh, we do a voltage divider with the load connected directly to the generator. So for here, I'm instead, of, instead of Z0, which we usually use for calculating V1+, plus, I'm going to put RL, the load value, Con directly connected to the generator. So and then here we have RG plus RL. And then the steady state current we can get from the steady state voltage divided by RL. So once we simplify, we get VG over RG plus RL. We can put in our numbers and we have 0.0667 amps.